Hi, I'm Edward Ferris, one of the owners of Barrels Jewelers. We've created this video to share with you our most commonly asked questions around choosing an engagement ring. We do have a detailed video on each of these questions, which you can click on in the description below. Firstly, before we talk about the first question that we commonly get asked, I wanted to say congratulations. You're at a most significant moment in your life. One I remember very dearly for myself. I proposed to my wife in Paris. Yes, very cheesy. Um, and uh, she said yes, thankfully. And we've been married now for 10 years, but I really did enjoy the moment. So congratulations to both of you. The most important consideration when choosing an engagement ring is how it suits your finger. What I mean by that is the distance that you have between your knuckle and your hand, the webbing of your hand. So if you have a longer finger, what would suit would be a long stone like an emerald cut or a marquee shaped stone for example, or even a halo style ring so you've got more length down the finger. Equally if you have a shorter finger, then you'll be considering perhaps a, a round brilliant or princess cut solitaire or even a trilogy ring that would go across the finger. Obviously your personality plays a big part in this um, and we love to show as many options as we can so you can see how it fits on the finger. The second most important consideration you're going to make is the gemstone that goes in your engagement ring. We always stress that hardness is the most important factor to consider. That's why a diamond is commonly chosen because of its hardness. Equally, a sapphire or a ruby are very hard stones as well and could be worn every day. But that's not to say that another gemstone could be chosen. For example, an emerald. An emerald is a brittle or soft stone and will need protection, so the setting will play a part in making sure that it can be worn every day. The next consideration you're going to be making is the cut or shape of the stone. Shapes we commonly sell are round brilliant cuts, princess cuts, which is a square stone, an emerald cut being a rectangular, a marquise, an oval shaped stone, a pear shaped stone, or even a cushion shape. But there are a lot of very unusual shapes of diamond as well that we can source. A well cut diamond will give a really great uh, dispersion of light from the light coming into it and refracting back out. Equally, a poorly cut stone will lose some of that light, but equally, a poorly cut stone could mean a much bigger diamond and that could really be important to you. Your next consideration is going to be the metal that you would like your engagement ring to be in. We commonly sell our engagement rings in platinum, but equally in white gold, yellow gold, rose gold as well. Platinum is often chosen because it is a very hard metal. We have some great videos about that from our goldsmith in our Kingston store, but it will give you that longevity and it will keep that strong white color. If you're considering white gold, it may be because you have a ring that you want to sit it next to, uh, or you, it, it's a price factor as well. White gold, you need to consider the fact that it, it has this plating on it, the rhodium plating, and that can come off uh, and will wear with time. So that's a consideration to make. And the other thing is the carat of gold. We commonly sell our rings in 18 karat gold. Anything higher than that in carat is going to be too soft for a ring that's worn every day. But equally, anything below that, it's gonna be less than 50% gold. And I think when you're buying an engagement ring, it's great to try and step up to that 18 karat gold mark where more than 50% of the ring is made from gold. The final thing we do get asked for are silver rings. We really don't suggest this for an everyday ring that's going to be holding a gemstone that's important to you. Uh, silver is a very soft metal and will not last. Your next consideration is going to be the setting of the stone. Commonly, we see engagement rings set in a claw setting. This allows a lot of light to come in through the stone and reflect back up through it as well. Equally, you may see a rub over setting or often referred to as a bezel setting. We've seen that a lot online. That's where the metal will be all the way around the outside of the stone and really protect it. That will have an impact on some of the light that returns through it, but it does make a beautiful looking ring as well. We do see tension sets and we do sell them. That's where there's part metal holding the stone in from two sides maybe. This is something to consider in terms of longevity. There is a risk of the stone coming out um, there's equally a risk of you having a change in your finger size later on down the line. Um, so that's something to consider as to whether the ring can be sized in the future as well. We would all, personally, I would love to have as little metal as I possibly can around a diamond, but we do need to make sure with a ring that you're wearing every day that the setting really is protecting the integrity of the stone. Your next decision is a very big one, is the wedding ring that sits next to your engagement ring. We often spend a long time 
uh, going through and showing rings to make sure that you get the perfect match. Maybe wedding is a long way off, but it is really important to get this right. If you bought it chosen a halo style, it may be that we have to create a shape to fit wedding ring that goes around it. And sometimes people don't like that. Equally, there may be a wedding band that needs to have a section cut out of it as well. Again, that can impact the decision on the engagement ring. Equally, the other thing to consider is the type of metal uh, that's going to go next to it. It's really important to try and keep the same metal. Platinum would wear white gold. Um, and finally, the diamonds that you might want to have in your wedding ring. That can impact the look of the engagement ring as well, so it's an important thing to consider. Your next choice is going to be whether to choose a certificated or non-certificated diamond. A certificated diamond is where the diamond has been sent to a laboratory and been measured for colour, clarity, cut and carat weight. All of these factors and having a certificate will influence the price of a diamond. So if you're considering a larger size stone, it can be often better to consider a non-certificated diamond from a jeweller that you trust. Another question we get asked is how much should I spend on an engagement ring? This has been written about for decades, whether it should be one month salary, two month salary, three month salary. That really is a personal choice and down to you. There are so many factors to consider when choosing a diamond that will influence its price. The cut, the color, the clarity, the carat weight, the size of the stone will make a big difference, but equally all of the other factors will make a big difference as well. I would say whatever is comfortable for you, it is a ring that you are going to be wearing for the rest of your life and something that you're going to admire for many, many years to come. So we'll leave it to you to make that decision. Time scales are a thing to consider when choosing an engagement ring. If you're, getting, if you're going to propose very soon, then I would suggest that you need to choose something that's probably in stock. So something where if the ring needs to be altered in size can be done very quickly and be ready for that moment for you. But alternatively, if you're looking for a bespoke piece designed by us or something slightly different to what was in the window, then there is a number of weeks or even months that need to be considered in preparing that perfect piece for you. Your final consideration will be re the real peace of mind you can have with wearing your ring. It's really important to consider how your ring will be looked after by the retailer. Whether the diamond gets damaged or falls out of the setting, what will happen? and equally what will happen if the setting wears or a finger changes in size. This is such a big important topic and I've created a separate video all about our diamond guarantees to really understand the intricacies of what needs to be covered. Making this video has really reminded me of my experience of choosing an engagement ring for my wife. It really was the most enjoyable experience I've ever had. We love having people in our stores and being part of your most significant moments in your lives and I think that experience of being here and trying on all those different options that you need to consider is a really important next step for you. So we welcome you into our store at any point over stores in Winchester, Tunbridge Wells, Kingston and Staines. If you have any questions about buying an engagement ring, please do email me. My email address is edward at barrels.co.uk. Thank you.